After a long time, I believe we have a project which holds lot of potential to act as a replacement of RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. Alibaba has just dropped this zero search which aims to replace traditional RAG by simulating document retrieval internally, eliminating the need for external search engines or even APIs during training. It enables LLMs to learn retrieval and reasoning skills using only generated data. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are going to simulate the zero search locally and we will see how this works. Be aware this is a very early research project still at the moment it's not for production use and you can't really use it for any of the use case at the moment but i believe that if it works the way they are promising it to be uh, working i think this could be a big big deal just like we saw with microsoft's graph rag by the way this project has been created by alibaba it's a new approach to training LLMs for question answering tasks without relying on external search engines or APIs. So instead of fetching real time web results, zero search uses a simulated search process in which a language model generates multiple retrieval documents, some relevant, some noisy in response to each query. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. And my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. I am going to create this virtual environment with Conda. And for VM and GPU, I am very grateful to Mass Compute. If you are also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. And I will drop the link in, uh, in the video's description with a discount coupon code of 50%. And now let's git clone the repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. That's also done. Now we need to install a lot of um, prerequisites here, which include Torch, VLLM, VanDB, and few other stuff. So as you can see here and some requirements from the root of the repo. So let's install it. This is going to take uh, four to five minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And everything is installed. Next up we need to download the model. They also have shared some of the models on Hugging Face and that is a good thing. Uh, but before that we need to install Hugging Face Hub, Flash Attention and few other things. So let's do that. And now I am going to use this Hugging Face CLI in order in order to log into Hugging Face. You can grab your free read token from Hugging Face profile. Let's paste it here and then I am logged in. Okay, now let's download the model. The model which they have shared, the search simulation one, they come in three sizes, 3 billion, 7 billion and 14 billion. Just for the purpose of this demo, I am going to go with the 3 billion. So for that, I have created a local directory and then I am going to download that model in this local directory. And you can see that it's a very smallish model. So it shouldn't take too long to get downloaded. And while it downloads, let's talk a bit more about this project around its architecture because I think that is where most of the value is at the moment. So the simulation engine which they have shared, it can be powered by either prompted LLMs or fine-tuned models of varying sizes. We are going to use fine-tuned model and that uses reward signals to refine its document selection, ultimately training policy models to reason through multi-step QA tasks using only internally generated context. So by removing reliance on search APIs, zero search avoids external costs and latency that allows the model to be trained with greater efficiency and stability. What they have done is they have used something called as curriculum rollout mechanism. And by that they have gradually increased the difficulty of the retrieval environment. It starts with high quality documents and later introduces more irrelevant or conflicting information that challenges the model to adapt its reasoning under condition of ambiguity and incomplete information. 
they have also used some sort of reinforcement learning technique like ppo to further optimize answer accuracy but that is um, some information which they have shared in their paper which you can read through so the approach not only uh, matches or exceeds the capability of traditional search or augmented technique but i think if it works in the real time as they have promised this could easily replace a rag in my humble opinion and that is done let's clear the screen and now you can run the simulation by using sglang sglang is a very fast serving framework and we already have covered it on the channel in great detail and you can see that we are serving this model which we have just downloaded through sglang here and there you go we have our output here now so if you look at this output this is basically simulating a complete question answering episode in this zero search and that shows how the model interacts with the document retrieval environment designed to mimic real search engines which seems quite interesting and that is where the real fun begins so the statistics at the top show how many attempts or trajectories were still ongoing after each reasoning turn and how many were successfully completed at each step reflecting the model's efficiency and reasoning process the five document snippets show the kind of evidence the model receives from the simulated search engine before formulating its answer ultimately the model synthesizes this information and generates a final answer thereby identifying William Shakespeare as the author of Hamlet, showcasing zero search ability to train language models to solve information seeking tasks without relying on external APIs or real time web access. And that is where this seems so promising. As I said, very, very early days of the project, but I'm quite hopeful that this is going to be um, really big if it works in the production environment. And I'm especially excited about this project because if you have um, worked in any production environment where you had to use a rag, uh, it could be a real pain in the back, especially when there is a lot of data and you have to rely on costly latency prone external search engine or APIs. And I'm talking about Anthropic or OpenAI here openly. Um, so by generating just relevant and noisy documents in response to queries, this project and enables LLMs to practice multi-step information retrieval and synthesis in a controlled and customizable environment. So that not only eliminates API costs and external dependencies, but also allows for scalability, curriculum-based difficulty, and broad generalization across tasks. And that is where the performance gain are materialized. Anyway, let me know what do you think do you think that it, is, it could replace track or not? If you like the content, please do me a favor and like the video and share it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.